Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Pro. Um, so I bought this from the Apple store online. I ordered it on April 1 and then it arrived on I think May 2. So it was over a month, a little over a month. I think the thing that really um, delayed the delivery was a processing time. Um, I said that I ordered it on April 1 but it was shipped out only on April 14 and then it spent about a week in customs in the Singapore customs I, I think um, and just a day in the Philippine customs and then it arrived. So I live in um, Cavite um, and that wasn't really an issue. So the box is different. Um, for the old model, like prior to 2021, the tab to open the brown box was on top. With this one, it's on the side. I think it's kind of cool. I got this 16 inch base model but with a 1 terabyte SSD. I am so sorry that it's not straight. It's kind of messing with my OCD, but I can't do anything about it now. I was just too excited to open the box. So when you open it, the first thing that you see is the unit. Um, it's wrapped in, I think it's paper. I don't think it's plastic. Um, I was feeling the front of it because there was like a tactile difference over the logo, over the Apple logo. So this is the box that contains the documentation, but in here there is something that I'm really excited about. I think almost as excited as I was about the laptop and these are these black Apple stickers because I think to date the only other Apple product that got the black Apple stickers was the really expensive um, Mac Pro. And some just some documentation about ports now we go to the cable so it's pretty long I think it's two meters so this is me trying to unwrap it and I realized that it was taking a long time so why don't we speed it up It's a braided cable, which I'm having ambivalent thoughts about because on the one hand, it's more durable, but on the other, it's also going to get dirty pretty quickly. Now, this is the 140 watt charger, a chonker of a charger. That's paper as well. And I'm going to try and see if the camera picks up that it's 140 watts I guess the camera doesn't I 
and now we go to the laptop itself. One of the reasons why I decided to get this laptop is because I wanted to further my education on 3D modeling and the laptop that I'm using right now is just not powerful enough to do that. So there's a MacBook Pro etched at the bottom. I opted for the 16 inch model because I like a lot of real estate in terms of screen. I don't want to be hunched over and being too close to my laptop. And then I chose the M1 Pro, not the N1 Max, because the Max is just too expensive. And because I'm just starting out with 3D modeling, I can't justify spending a crazy high amount on a machine. Um, maybe when I get better at it, um, I can upgrade to a Max or even an Ultra, I don't know. As we're doing the set of things, I'm going to set up this MacBook. On hand, yep. I don't know if you heard that, but it did the ding. It's an iconic Mac shine. You know what? I want to see if I can attach this again because I've seen a lot of videos where the resellers are saying that one way to know if your MacBook is brand new and never been used is that this can be put back. So let's see. Just, just for just for funsies. So it's definitely. It's definitely difficult to do that, but it can be done. So it can be done. For now, and start to set this up. English. And then let's choose our country. Alright, so during setup, there's no tap to click yet. Um, you have to depress or like push hard on the trackpad. Okay. Let's continue. Not now. And then I am going to be connecting to my path, to my Wi Fi. Right. We're in, um, and uh, not now. So I'm gonna set it, set this up as a new Mac. I'm just going to sign in to my Apple ID. The keyboard feels really good. to see that we've read this <laughs> even if we have it the biggest lie in the whole universe so 
so I'm just setting up my um, my accounting for this PC. Really pretty. Um, another thing that I've noticed, one thing that I've noticed is that the branding right here is gone. So they did not include that here. The bezels are really nice. They're really thin. And the keyboard is a joy to type on. I have no problem with a butterfly keyboard. The Mac Pro that I'm using, I was using has the butterfly keyboard it's the 20 i think it's a 2016 macbook pro it has a butterfly keyboard i've never had a problem with it um and I actually like it the tactile feel of the butterfly keyboard but this keyboard feels a lot better it's kind of taking too long i think it's my internet though that's a problem so it's trying to connect to icloud i think and, yeah, and then we're all set up. I think my Wi-Fi is spotty or something. I don't know if you can hear the background noise. That's my AC. <laughs> it's kind of loud because it's a portable unit. In my home office, I have a place to put a an, an air conditioning unit, like a permanent air conditioning unit. So I just use a portable one and yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I think I think this is the final step. Um We're setting up um, touch ID. I wish they had face ID, but it's kind of taking a long time to load. I would have guessed that it would take. A shorter time to do it but yeah so this is it so let's look at let's look at the about this Mac and then I'm just gonna do the quick setup so it's running Monterey 12.2.1 it's the Apple this place storage it is one so let me just do some um, some quick I don't know how long this is gonna take. We'll see. So one of the reasons why I decided to get the MacBook Pro is because of the ports. Um, my MacBook Pro now only has two main USB-C ports. That means when I'm charging, when it's plugged in, so now we got it. So this one, but then not a plug, and then you can still add a lot of stuff. 
So this has um, 30, so one food on the other side. And on the other side, there's a third USB-C board. There is an HDMI port and a SD card reader. Okay, so it's finally set up and I just changed a few things in the system preferences. For example, the size of the dock. I don't like a big dock, so I pick the smallest size and then I just enable the magnifier. And then I also enabled tap to click um, in the trackpad so this so um, so that I don't have to press hard on the trackpad and then in accessibility I also enabled three finger drag so it's in pointer control and then in trackpad options and then I just enabled the three finger drag with the new line of the M1 Mac Pros, um, you don't really need a lot of stuff. You don't really need a lot of accessories, but here are the ones that I bought. So the first one is this, it's an SSD from Western Digital. So I'm going to just put the link in the description box in case you are interested. This is a one terabyte um, SSD. Um, and then I also bought a dongle from Baseus Basis um, because I still have a lot of peripherals that use USB A. So this has just USB A. So I actually have tried it out using um, using my old Mac Pro and it worked. So let's just try it here. The availability of ports on both sides is so refreshing. Oh, I have to plug something in, of course. So, the, it works. And then, um, oh, I didn't eject it. It's fine. And then, I also got... Oh, let's try out the, the SSD drive. The SSD first. And there it is, my passport. I check this, and then I also bought some things. And basically, that's all you need. Um, although I have this dongle that I used for my, although I have this dongle that I used for my old Mac Pro um, to connect to my external monitor, because this has a USB C and an HDMI and a USB A, um, I no longer need it. So I think I'm going to keep it with a 13-inch one. And then I also got some bags. So let's just shut this down for a bit. So I got two bags. I got two bags. Both of these are from Shopee. So these are from the brand TomTalk. Um, and what I like about this is that inside there's like this, like sort of what you see in bubble wrap and they're kind of stiff, but they're still soft. So it will provide protection for your Mac. And I haven't tried it. I haven't tried to put it inside yet. Let's see. Fits like a glove kind of have to maneuver the edge a bit, but it fits. It's numb. It's a snug fit in there. Um, and this one I'm going to use for when I'm bringing the laptop to the office or to school, you know, like short distance traveling when I know that I'm going to be holding the laptop most of the time. And then I also got another bag. Let me just get this out and the other bag that I got is also from TomTalk. It's 
card. Shell. So this one I'm planning on using. I'm traveling and I need to bring my laptop. It has a strap that you can attach. Like here and here. So it's a hard shell bag. And it opens it opens all the way. So this is a strap. And then what I really like about it is that it uses um YKK zippers. So you know that it's really quality. So I think the laptop comes in here. Just get that out of the way. So the laptop comes in here. Right there. It's a perfect fit, actually. I mean, you strap it down. Then you can add, like, maybe an iPad in here or something, or a notebook. And then close it. You're going to take it, take it to the So, although it kind of adds test to the laptop, I prefer to use something like this so that I know that my MacBook is protected because it's very expensive. Um, I'm not going to put a case on my MacBook Pro. I've only done that once with the Mac Pro that I had. Um, it was a late 2011 MacBook Pro, a 15-inch MacBook Pro, and the only reason I got a case was because I was afraid of dings and scratches. But um, the case actually does more bad than good because it adds to the heat of the laptop. It doesn't let, doesn't let the heat um, disperse as a lot as it's meant to. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, there. I'm not going to be bothering with buying a screen protector because we all know that it's bad. I'm also not going to be buying a keyboard protector. Um, I don't really need it, and it remove it like it takes away the tactile feeling, the tactile satisfaction that typing on the MacBook does. Um, I'm not gonna put a case because I'm afraid of my Mac overheating, and I'm much more wary of the internals heating up and not working as it's supposed to. I'm more worried about that than minor dings and scratches. I mean, some people say that the case doesn't really add much to the heat, but it's, I don't know, for me, it's logical. It's, it's science that if you enclose something, the heat takes a lot longer to dissipate. I know that this has fans, but and it, I mean, it has very good cooling qualities. I don't know, the parts to cool it are there and they work, but I'd rather not add to the possibility of it overheating. So I'm doing away with, with the case because that's what happened before in my old MacBook Pro. So I'm not going to do that again. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the MacBook Pro or I don't know anything, just put it in a comment below and I'll try my best to answer. Um, again, thank you. If it's not too much to ask, please subscribe to this channel and that's it. Bye.